am Sandy Almack and I'm here with a Copic coloring tutorial. I want to show you how to make this balloon look like it's really made of grow grain ribbon with white stitching. First I want to show you the three great new stamp sets from Hero Arts. These are additional fundraisers for Operation Right Home, snowflakes in the Winter Wishes, some super solid stamps in the Epic Love set, and today we're going to work with this balloon from the Happy Birthday set. First I'm going to stamp the image using Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm going to use some Nina cardstock. You can use whatever you like to color with your Copics on. I'm coloring the white stripes first. Yes, I said I'm coloring the white first. I do put a little color into my whites most of the time because that will make them look dimensional. I'm using C4 and blending it out with some C00. And you can see I'm just kind of scribbling the light color over top of the edges of where the dark color stops and that blends them out. With the blue, I'm using B37 for the darkest color and the darkest areas of most anything tend to be right around where seams are. So right around where that ribbon wraps around the balloon is generally going to be your darkest areas. I'm using FB2 for the second color and blending that out and pulling some of the dark color into the medium blue and then just letting the marker blend in the area where the two are wet. So the moisture factor that's in the paper is what makes the colors blend together. So you can see I filled in the top area but right where the two meet I'm doing a little kind of scribbling to make sure that the two colors blend together. And now I'm going to do the tips of those ribbons at the very bottom and then we'll move on to the red. The red is R39 for the dark. I really love this color. And you'll also notice that I've got the two outside pieces of ribbon are red and the center one is red. That's going to make the whole balloon pop off of the white card base that it's on. If the white or the lighter blue were on the outsides, it wouldn't pop nearly as much. So this is really going to be striking on the card itself. And of course I realized I forgot the bottom piece. So adding a little bit more red marker down there. Now the third color I'm filling in with is R24. Sometimes when I'm coloring with reds, I'll use a pink color for the lightest color that I'm blending it into, or I might even leave a spot of highlight white. And if it were actually ribbon, which I'm trying to make it look like ribbon, it wouldn't be shiny. So it wouldn't have a white spot at the very top. So I want that red to be really, really rich. Therefore, no pink colors are in this collection of markers. I'm going to make the top of the basket red. And then I want to show you how to make this basket itself, this little weave, look dimensional. And it's much more easy than it looks. You're just going to make a little V or a little triangle in the bottom of each one of these diamonds. And as you do that, you're creating those shadows that when you color it in with your medium color marker, I'm going back in with the same colors I used on the balloon above, it automatically looks like it's a dimensional basket. How cool is that? Now I'm trimming this out. If you're anything like me when you trim, you either cut off some black lines or you leave some white ones. So this Copic Multiliner is my friend. I just take it and run it along the side of the marker all the way around the image and that fills in any black spots that I've missed or white spots that I've missed. Makes me look like a brilliant trimmer. Now to add the grow grain texture, I'm just adding little stripes across using my darkest red marker. And I'm not going all the way up because if I went all the way up it would add way too much darkness to the top. So I'm taking my medium to do the rest of the stripes the rest of the way up. And these are the same ink colors that I used when I was coloring the uh, actual ribbon itself. And you can see as I get to the top, I'm letting the lines be broken up. They don't have to be solid lines all the way up. They don't even have to be solid lines throughout the entire ribbon. You just want to give that overall impression that it has ribbing on it, like grow grain ribbon does. And at the top, it just gets lighter and lighter, but still has a little bit of detail in it. 
And the last detail I'm going to add is some white stitching. I'm using a Signo Uniball pen to do that. Whatever white pen you have that's nice and juicy will work great. And you can see I've added some glossy accents to the stars and to the ribbon around the middle. The card base is going to be made out of this fantastic LCI paper. It's white wood grain. Really fun stuff. I'm die cutting a circle out of a piece that's a little smaller than my card front. So this piece is four by five and a quarter. And I want to stamp some clouds in here. So I'm going to position them knowing where my circle is going to lie. So I'll just move that out of the way so I can stamp the second cloud. I'm taking my B21 marker and adding a very slight shadow underneath. And I'm going to blend that out with a B0000, four zeros, just to soften it. It actually colors kind of nicely on this paper. So I'm placing the second piece of textured paper on top and centering it. This is going to get some dimensional adhesive on one side where it's going to be floating and the other side has some tape runner all along it so it will stick to the card front. And it's all placed where it belongs. Now the last step is going to be adding my sentiment. I want it on a wave. This is a super easy way to get some fun on your card. Place your stamp on the block in a wave. Trim that out and add it on with part of it glued on the front and part of it glued on the back. And I do appreciate you taking a moment to watch this video. Thanks so much. Leave me a comment down below about what you thought and we'll see you another time.